What does this mobile and that clock have in common? Well, by the end of the video, this mobile is going to have that clock's power port. Welcome back, it's Mikey here, and today, as the intro says, we are going to be fixing this mobile. It takes way too many batteries. It has um, the mobile feature that runs off of batteries, and it also plays music and has a light. And so what this thing has right now is just four AA batteries to power this and we end up just going through them like crazy in fact we just changed them tonight which kind of spurred on this video so one of these batteries is let's see one of these batteries is a uh, 1.5 volts so 1.5 times 4 would be 6 volts. This clock is 6 volts. And the charger for this clock is right there. 6 volts at 0.2 amps. So we're going to be taking this port and that charger and modifying this so it doesn't run off batteries anymore. So come with me on the repair experience and we'll see what happens. Get the batteries out. Take this mobile part off and start undoing those screws so we can get access back here so I can figure out kind of where we're going to put this port. Um, like maybe we'll go over here or we might be able to put it down there. And we're going to open that up and see. Um, how it's going to come off of that clock. Okay, so we're open. Um, I might not have been 100% clear. I am going to leave the battery source so you can run it off batteries or off the charger, but when I am running it off the charger, just to be safe, since the system wasn't designed to have the batteries charged off that I am going to be taking out the batteries so we will primarily be using it off the off this charger now but I want to leave the option open so you could do either or but we will not be leaving the batteries in while using the charger so it looks simple enough in here um, I'm thinking a good spot to put this port would be right back here. And then okay, let's pause the video there. So there's a reason why I've had, in the first part of the video, I had nope, nope to the different locations. That's because I ended up drilling this spot and it did not work. Uh, this is a case of measuring, test fitting, and then drilling. And for me, it was just kind of guesstimating and then drilling which didn't end up working um, so let me forward the video here what I ended up doing was you can see there's this there's the new ventilation hole I drilled um, so this piece sits right against this top railing on the crib it sits right underneath that ledge and then the straps get tightened and it gets sucked up against it. That new ventilation hole I drilled lines up right with the top of this railing and you can't plug it in. So that's the new spot that I drilled up top and um, so you can actually access the 
the cable, it doesn't run into any of the wood. So anywhere really along the side or the bottom was out as well because there's a chance that whoever's in the crib could grab the cord and pull it out. Whereas right here, the cord comes out nicely, runs down, and then you can zip tie it to the slats on the bottom. And um, there's no chance of someone getting into the cord when they shouldn't be. So right here, let's see. So that's where I ended up drilling it on the other side. Um, you've got lots of room, you just have to run your cables a little bit longer. So let's continue on with the video. Um, I'm thinking a good spot to put this port would be right back here and then we might be able to put some epoxy around it so it's nice and tight and just jumper some wires over here to the battery pack and that should be that. So now let's take a look at this guy. This grow clock um, is the name. Why I am not spending the time to fix this is we got this as a gift, as a baby present, baby shower present, I guess you'd say. Um, but we got this like a year before we had a kid and then it took us a while before we actually started using it so by the time we went to use it it was coming on about two and a half years so by then any warranty would be long gone this thing doesn't keep time um, you set the time and maybe after a day or so the time just goes out it gains a couple hours I believe and so we just went out and got another one because we liked the idea of this so I'm not going to spend the time and fix this, it's not worth it for me. But we will be stealing some parts. Okay, so that is the part that we will be taking. We'll be desoldering it off the board here so I will get my soldering iron set up it's crazy how cheaply this was done this is uh, this is just some basic basically some ribbon cable but it's um, there's no metal going through it it's just conductive material and that was just taped down to these these contacts right here so the tape is all that was holding that in contact. That's pretty cheap, if you ask me. Alright, so we're going to put it right about here this time. And let's just make sure that everything fits. Yeah, I think we're going to have lots of clearance here. But it's best to check it, especially since we've already drilled a hole. So it looks like it's going to line up right there with that... Um, that little indent. So that should be pretty easy to mark it here on this other side. Let's just make it sure that we know the exact spot right there. And I'll get the drill out and let's make another hole.
this down, I'm out of epoxy and actually taking off this piece, the epoxy didn't, um, it stuck, but it didn't really stick as good as I wanted it to, so, and I'm all out. I'm going to get some wires run, and that's where it's going to sit. Awesome, just enough. back together.